Okay, <clears throat> we just started recording um, 5th of October. Any announcements from the team before we jump straight in? Um, yes. No. Okay, uh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, hi everyone, how are you doing? So uh, by now I'm, I'm assuming almost only a few, uh, except for a few trainees, All of you have access to the AWS uh, instance, and we are also in instance memory, so you guys can install uh, what you want now. And the calculator is also ready, uh, so you can connect. And if you are facing any issue, then uh, please um, update us on the Slack. We have created uh, a thread, and you can just uh, tell us what you're facing there. That's it. Thanks. Uh, I think that's Nardos. Thanks, Nardos. Any other announcements from other members of the team? No? All right, let's jump straight in. I think we're in groups this week, so which group's available and wants to give an update on how they're doing? Who wants to go? Okay, Matt Nail, go ahead. Can I go? Yeah, please go ahead. Okay, uh, um, I'm from group two. And like we have, uh, we have been facing uh, a lot of brokers on yesterdays, and also um, connect, connecting with the. I think all of all of the members have connected successfully to the instance, and also we are working on the on the interim submissions today. And among the brokers, I think some of our almost almost all of them are fixed, uh, like recently. And yeah, we will move forward from that. We've been we've been contacting on the Slack channel we created, and also we we were, we are having calls here and there. Like we have we are we had a uh, few calls till now, and we will continue doing that. Yeah, that's our progress so far. Okay. Um. So tell me more about the blockers that you're facing. Uh, the first the main blocker was like yesterday we planned like. To go like to progress well, but we faced the storage issue. I do I didn't know how we end up the only group being having the storage issue. Uh, and uh, yeah, yesterday was like that. And the uh, day before that, we were having the uh, uh, a permission issue on the Jupiter part. And yes, the, f among yesterday's issues, the additional part was. Uh, the Jupiter server just crashed, and we're giving us a 500 serv internal server error. So I think that was related to the storage issue. Yeah, mostly the issues were the blockers were were somehow related to space and permission. How are you doing with the division of work between the groups, group members, I should say? Uh, we, we we just divided uh, some tasks on the submission part, mm -hmm. and we, we we have divided tasks on the submission parts, especially for today's one, and also for the general tasks we have been uh, uh, divided. Uh, we have divided the tasks. Yeah, but how is that working for you? Uh, it's going good. Like some like someone is working on the other on the. For example, someone among us, Isaac is working on the versioning the data. I'm working on setting up the environments, and yeah, we, we are going. It's going good. Okay. Are there any others from the group who want to comment on on that? It's been one of the issues that, <clears throat> excuse me, we've had in the past. How do you make sure that everyone has an opportunity to contribute, or that? The work is done. Um, you know, everyone comes in with a different level of preparation, and so can we hear from someone else in the group? We have uh, Yishak's on the call. 
Hanok, Gideon, Bekalu, Adijat. Arun, Dutu can I also just take uh, yeah. a few minutes just to, of course. just more because I wanted uh, to leave uh, soon, but I want to know how people are doing with respect to join, connecting with the machine. Yeah. And if there is anyone who hasn't been able to connect. Yeah, Emitnan. Yeah, I was able to connect for uh, less than an hour and exited, and then I wasn't able to connect since uh, last night. Um, um, what what was the problem? Like, did you try now? I tried. I tried. I have been trying all night, so I wasn't able to connect any but, anymore. So I'm just getting public key denied or um, the same error that I was getting before. Okay, so one, okay. Adiet? Yes, I was able to connect yesterday and it was into the Jupiter hub, but I couldn't connect again this morning. So I got, first I got the HTTP is not secure. Uh, again, I tried it again a few minutes ago and I still can't reach the website. The site can't be reached, that's what I'm getting now. On my terminal at first it was failing as soon as I tried to reload the local host, but now it was not failing on the terminal. But it's, it still okay. can't so can, you, can you try again? Can you try again? So because I've just now we can put uh, you in like we assign a tutor to just after this call to address, but just can you try it now as well? Just but uh, okay. if anyone in the tutors can you just keep the names and then let's just get in a call and then make sure that uh, everyone is connected. Okay, okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, yesterday I, ha I have uh, tried to connect with this command, uh, but this command uh, having the local uh, host address, so I was, I was not able to connect to the Jupyter Hub. So later I tried to connect with the config file that contains the uh local host address but it says reject so uh i yeah. i asked nardos then nardos tried to help me uh, today we were working for a long time with even with new uh, uh address but it didn't work uh, it says refused operation okay so good anyone else i mean this one can only connect to a terminal but because it's not forwarding the port so which means that you will not be able to connect to any jupyter hub or anything uh, with this command because the, there has to be a port forward okay Fisa? Uh, relating to aws instances i just wanted to ask about the permissions and the uh, privileges who can do what and maybe explain something because we some sometimes some there are some errors uh, we get when we try to uh, run several uh, install several uh, environments so maybe brush up on yeah. that a little bit yeah I, I mean there are the leads only have a pseudo access currently um, and everyone else don't just so that but if needs be you you can connect with the tutors and then they can give you just pseudo access uh, within the group. We just didn't want everyone to have pseudo access. That means like every you know um, a, a lot of mess. And so, given that you are a group, you should be connecting and kind of people have to install uh, you know for everyone. So it's just a few people should be a manager and everyone else should just be using what is installed. But if there needs to be in the group, I think just you can reach out. As a group, reach out as a group more than as as an individual. Okay, not now. Uh, I was able to uh, connect with the terminal using also VS Code using the config file, and also I can see the port is forwarded to eight thousand seven. But when I try to open the app on the local on the on my browser. Uh, but, but if you if you want to use Jupyter Hub, just don't connect with VS Code in some way. Just connect with Terminal. I, I mean, I don't know how VS Code is handling all those port forwards. I think there's a special case. So I would really it was, say just... It was working yesterday. 
the same way. Okay, then in that case, um, so which group are you? Like, can you just connect now with terminal and then open it? Like the Jupyter Hub? Okay, yeah, I, I'm connected using terminal, but the Jupyter Hub the, from the border, it's not working. Let me try again. Which group are you? Uh, I think we're, so while at the same time, Garnet. Okay. Uh, uh, I would try to connect to that of Edelis, but I can't get, uh, I can't access the phone. Then can't couldn't resolve the host name uh, kind of error. Okay. Um, so the group two Jupiter Hub is down. So I will just fix that one. Then that, again, is it Jupiter Hub or what, what is your issue? Uh, I, I couldn't get a, uh, it, it couldn't get a group for temporary failure in, in the name resolutions kind of error on the host name. Sorry, I think my, my network is slightly. This should be like, especially those people with Jupyter Hub. I think we just start very, very in a, in a few seconds. Um, those who, who are unable to connect, then please just after this one, Yididia, uh, Azaria, Naros, please just reach out and then have a Jimmy session just to fix everyone's issue. Yeah, I, 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 I'll be able to help as well. I, I try to connect with uh, Yadide. I think he may have solved him. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah my uh, my error is like I I was able to connect with uh, terminal using terminal, but uh, also 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 using VS VS Code, uh, but my Jupyter app is not working. Yeah, I, th I think it's just I restarted to increase memory, and that sometimes has the effect of um, disabling or I need to restart the Jupyter app. So you can try in the next few minutes, and it should be working for for everyone. Okay. Just the Jupyter app issue, and that's because I re I increased the memory and I restarted the instances, and that may have um, basically because this is a day running as a daemon Jupyter app. That's the issue. So, but that would be fixed just um, in the next minute. Okay. But those who are unable to connect through just big, like just actual connection to the machine, then that one is a different issue. So please just reach out um, and we shall fix. So let it not be like that. The next tutorial shouldn't happen without you be able to connect. Okay, that's just, uh, we, should, we should assume, but thanks. And um, yeah, Arun, back to you. Thanks. OK. Um, so let, let's continue with group two, please. So anyone else in group two that want to? So we were talking about the division of work and how it's working um, with different people uh, working on different on parts of the group work. So we found that groups that do best, um, they divide up the work well and everyone plays a role and the very best groups um, the group leader often doesn't do as much work as coordinates other people so i'd just like to hear from others in group two yashak hanok gideon bekalu adijad birtu khan uh, about how the division of labor is going how they're experiencing that so we have gideon go ahead uh so uh, as natnil mentioned earlier We've had two calls uh, so far. One, our initial call yesterday, and like a progress report today. So uh, yesterday, one of the blockers uh, as discussed was the our our instance 
was facing a no space lift problem so uh, we couldn't proceed but uh, each of us were, were tried to do like a data exploration on our own and we discussed our findings this morning and we've also divided up the the tasks uh, on how to approach the project and what our plans are and like a, a brief description of the the tools we'll be using and so how, on so, and how did how did you divide up the tasks was it one person decides what everyone does or is it based on people volunteering do you guys have your own check-ins once twice a day you mentioned two calls but it's already wednesday um so two calls on wednesday may not be enough so i just want to hear more about how the group is syncing and to make sure that it's syncing as in synchronizing and not that um you know some people are doing this stuff and everyone else is just being pulled along uh so uh, each of us like chose which part to take so we it was on a, on a voluntary basis mm -hmm. uh and like uh each of us will 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 do the tasks and we'll probably check in using our slack group mm -hmm. on our progress okay okay let's let's move on my my sense from what i'm hearing from group two is that i think things are moving ahead but uh, there may be some effort that's worth putting into making sure that the group is actually hitting on all cylinders. So I, there's other people who are from group two who are on this call and who are not putting their hand up and saying, this is what I'm working on, which is sometimes a sign that, you know, the work is happening, but not everyone is contributing. Um, so I'm also happy to be a resource if anyone wants to reach out to me or others on the team, because it's it's its whole own body of work how do you make sure that uh, team dynamics work? Let's go to group one, group Chang. Uh, so we have Nadal Masresha, Berhanu Gebisa, Fiseha, Aku Bazgi, Neil Mukiza, Emtinan. Okay, so Nati, do you want to take this? Okay, maybe uh, I. Okay, he said maybe he's adjusting I, his mic. Yeah. But he said so, he said uh, go on. It's it's a good thing this is an eight mile the movie, because if you're like adjusting your mic when you're on stage, have you guys seen Eight Mile? <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite movies. Yeah. Oh really? Okay, I can see you on stage doing the the last battle. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. Do you, is, so, is there an equivalent uh, of Eight Mile Road in Addis, just for interest? Is there like the, the border? It's, no? it's not actually uh, an Eight Mile Road, but the uh, same type of uh, uh, ghetto structure is still here. <laughs> is it called Eight Kilo in Addis? Actually, there's four kilo, five kilo, and six kilo. <laughs> there's no Eight Kilo. No, there's no Eight Kilo. <laughs> All right. All right, go ahead. Okay. So um yesterday we I think we progressed uh, really good. We uh we set it up uh, in our environments, our working environments, uh perfectly, I think. We didn't um we didn't manage any real bad blockers that took uh, almost most of the time. Besides the the general error everybody was uh, facing the public key uh, permission error which thanks to the tutors uh they solved it uh, really quick and so uh one of the main blockers we were having was uh regarding to the what, what, what do you call it the uh the main way in which we wanted to participate in the job uh, and finally we came to a consensus and we uh, divided the tasks uh, according to our uh, we chose we chose tasks. We listed out every task and we chose our tasks. We uh, prioritized the interim submission, like uh, most groups. And so um, we uh, we actually got a little bit uh, ahead. I, I I might say because we created some topics and we were able to 
produce and uh, consume uh, these events in our topics. Uh, and I'm not really sure about the explanatory data analysis stage, but I think uh, one of our group members also brushed up on that and really went good on that. So that's 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 all. But I am I do, also one of the other blockers now I remembered is uh, we were after the when we tried to do uh, what we were uh, what we chose to do what we assigned ourselves to do we kind of faced this problem where sudoers only were uh, supposed to install these working environments and I think that's a really nice. Uh, I will not call it a challenge, but an obstacle because we, in a, in a small way, in a small scale, understood how it is to work in groups, how to communicate with each other and do things uh, collectively because if these environments were not set, we couldn't do uh, our task properly. So that's one thing we learned yesterday to really communicate with each other and uh, progress a group instead of individually so that's also one thing i noticed and i really appreciate the effort of the team it's a really good team so i hope we will do better in this coming days so that would be very much okay does anyone else from the group want to make a comment And again, I'm just going to underline, if there's something that's not working in the group, this may not be the right format to sort of put your hand up and say, look, my group's excluding me, or I was slow in getting my tasks done, so they just went around me and did it. But feel free to reach out to uh, to to me, to Evarice, to uh, Abdullahi, because we've, we have experienced this in the past, that sometimes it takes people a little bit longer to get their stuff done, and it shouldn't be that the entire, someone on the group just does their work for them or that somebody is faster and then others just uh, do the work and nobody understands how it's happening. So important for us to uh, that that happens too. So in the interest of time, let's go to group Raiten. Um, so we have Jonas, uh, Nahom, Hapta, Michael, uh, Haley, Michael. Hi everyone, sorry, I I dropped. Um, okay, so I don't know where I dropped off. I was saying if anyone in group, uh, in any of the groups wants, has any questions, uh, if people are not getting feedback or they're not understanding what everyone in the group is doing, remember this, the whole point of this is not to get a grade, the point is to be able to explain this work when you go for a job interview. So you should know how everything in the, how all the work of the group was done. And if something is not working, don't hesitate to reach out to me, to Evarice, to Abdullahi, to one of the tutors. Let's go to group Raiten, Jonas, Nahom, Haley, Michael, Mohammed, Patrick, Jane Rose, Wangui. Uh, if there anyone from the group, I will take uh, to talk the, about the update. So Nahom on Haley, Michael. Ahmed, why don't you go ahead? Okay. So uh, yesterday we had our first meeting. We have initialized the group before we had our first meeting. It was on Monday, I think. So uh, since that, we have been communicating, uh, which we are doing. And uh, as a group, we have uh, worked together to solve the uh, SSH uh, instance uh, and make sure everyone in the group uh, has logged in his, uh, to his instance. So after that, after uh, the help of Edidia, uh, actually, we have been all uh, logging to our SSH. And uh, yesterday we have been uh, for a meeting for about two hours, two hours and a half. Uh, we have divided, before we divide the task, we, we make sure that we are on the same page. Uh, we understand uh, in general manner how uh, we're going uh, to address uh, this week uh, 
tasks and we have uh, built our intuition about the project and uh, after that we uh, divided uh, all of the tasks uh, between uh, the group uh, by which uh, everyone uh, could feel comfortable uh, with the task he is doing and uh, after that uh, yes uh, we used uh, github issues uh, for dividing the tasks and that's it yes okay anyone else from the group that wants to make uh, any additions no all right let's move on let's go to group uh Choket Bruhat, Kibatu, Michael, Josias, Tegisti, Gennett, and Emmanuel. Who can go from this group? Kibatu, Michael, Josias, Tegisti. Is Tegisti here? Uh, da, 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 da. Never really figured out the uh, ordering on the screen here. Okay, Michael, go ahead. Hello, hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, and uh, I'm from uh, from group four. Uh, I think, uh, as I've heard, what other groups have been trying to achieve, we are a little bit behind our schedule and behind the timetables. Uh, it's just because uh, I think uh, uh, not all of us have made the connection to the AWS machine, what we have supposed we were supposed to achieve by yesterday, and. Uh, uh, I'm still one of them, and I'm working on it with EDDR right now. And as soon as that problem is solved, we will try to move on to the next part. And we have had a meeting yesterday, and uh, uh, we have tried to discuss and uh, grasp the uh, basic intuitions that is uh, needed to uh, deal with this week's, uh, this week's challenge. So that's all, and uh, I believe we are a uh, lot behind the schedule. You are behind the schedule? Yeah, yeah. So it's, okay, that's not a good thing. How are you going to, how are you going to catch yeah. up? Yeah, I'm, I'm just, uh, the, the thing is, uh, uh, I think uh, by yesterday only, Emmanuel have made the, the connection with the AWS machine, and all of us have been getting uh, some error and i think uh, one of the tutor cdd have been assigned for our group mm -hmm. and we are we are trying to uh, work with him to solve uh, some issues uh, with the aws machine and uh, uh, that's it uh, that's what we are uh, that's why we are, we are behind the schedules so it seems to me like your problem is not only technical, your problem is also organizational. So you're the only group that didn't respond right away. We have group lead and deputy lead who are not necessarily here right now. We're not here right now. Uh, Gennett, go ahead. I think uh, the biggest our group leaders had some connection problems, uh, and that's why she's not absent here. But we have made uh, uh, a a meeting yesterday and uh, we tried to divide uh, some tasks uh, to our group and uh, each of us had our own uh, tasks which we are going to contribute for the group and uh, just as uh, uh, created organizations and added us as an authors and uh, we have done some of the tasks but uh, in the connections of aws uh, yes, we are behind. Uh, we, uh, me and uh, uh, as says Mike, also not connected yet. But I, I, I uh, to myself, I try to uh, do locally the assignment. And but all of us, uh, I think, just like that, we try to communicate uh, through Slack. We already created 
the communications and we frequently communicate not uh, that much uh, disorganized as uh, it is perceived that's yeah, no, but so I mean, let, let's not take it in the wrong way. I'm not here to assign a grade, but um, we're kind of halfway done this week's challenge already. So every day, to, to uh, borrow a line from what Yevo often says, right now, a day is like a week. So losing a day because somebody doesn't show up to a meeting or because somebody's connection isn't working, there, there must be enough people in the group who can step up and just say, okay, this is what we're doing. This is how I can cover for someone else. So... It, it, this is remember this is not school uh this is we're here to guide you and to provide the support and the okay. training this sort of stuff happens all the time in the world of work as well there's a tight deadline customer client whoever wants something short notice somebody gets sick some infrastructure goes down so now the question is how do we respond and it's just a sense based on my experience and i could be wrong but the group is you need to today's an important day i think everyone should be getting on the phone just after this call and prioritize uh, exactly who does what when and what has to get done today to make sure that we're on track emmanuel go ahead uh, so uh, i'm from group uh, mm -hmm. and uh what uh, measures have we taken uh, since uh, Tegisi is uh, off connection and uh, we cannot reach out? Uh, we, want, we managed to um, add another of our member, uh, Dioces, into the sub -dose list and uh, he managed to install uh, the, the, the required dependencies. Uh, so now we are on the verge of uh, uh, completing task one. Actually, not task one, task two. Uh, that will make us ready for the interim submission. Mm -hmm. We are doing. We are doing good. Actually, we have the access this morning. Yeah. Okay. I mean, what what I, <laughs> everyone seems to be kind of saying that actually, you know, everything is fine. I'm not saying everything isn't fine, but there's a yeah, there's a certain. Um, tone that I'm just hearing from the group that it's it feels like the group is is catching up. I might be wrong and maybe I've missed it in other groups too. But I would just yes, encourage I'm, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to tell you the remedies we've done. Yeah. But <clears throat> what I'm going what I'm encouraging you is uh but better than taking the medication is to get healthy. So get healthy today. All right. Yeah, and if, if you guys need okay. help, um, I don't know, Everest, Abdullah, are you guys here? Everest, are you online? I'm going to ask Everest to reach out and to try and schedule a brief call with the group just to just to help out um, and to make sure, I mean, I would really suggest you guys get into the rhythm of morning stand-up, evening stand-up, um, regular channel of communication, <clears throat> and yeah, try, try and... I'm not going to say catch back up because you're saying you guys are on track, but make sure you are you have a good plan for the rest of the week. Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right. Last group, group who? We have Johannes, Degega, Margaret, Johannes, Tibarik, and Annana. Um. Hi, everyone. Hi, Margaret. Um, I hope you're well. So my group, I think, is progressing okay so far. Uh, we set up the necessary channels for communication on Slack and also GitHub organizations. And um, we also, like everyone else, I think we're taking advantage of GitHub actions. So we always have meetings every day at a specific time for one hour to discuss how we're going on. And for interim submission, we listed out everything that was required. Um, and then we subdivided the tasks and assigned everyone a different task for on GitHub actions. Um, so, so far, we 
have set up the necessary dependencies that we need on AWS instance. And we're also taking advantage of some tools like FigJam to collaborate on uh, drawing a, a, the, the pipeline design. Uh, yeah, uh, so far everyone is well connected to the AWS instance, so that's good. Uh, yeah, if anyone from my group has something to add, uh, I think that's it for me. To go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, as Margaret mentioned, uh, I, we are on the track, uh, and uh, specifically my task was uh, to work on the unit test and to on the Kafka simulation. Uh, but before that, uh, I need the I need some of my group to work that. Uh, then I go on, so they are working on that. And they, after we merge it from the main branch, then I continue working with the unit test. So uh, I think they are done. So I'm going to continue my work. So we are just synchronizing the our work uh, like that. Great. Anyone else want to uh, contribute? Johans, Johannes, Tabarik, Andernet, anything to add? No. Okay, I just want to make one brief, uh, one brief point. Um, one of the biggest uh, misconceptions that people often make is that the group leader must be the most technically competent. In our experience, uh, the group leader often does less hands-on work and is more effective if he or she um, has an idea of what everyone else is doing and makes sure that the group is keeping on track. It's hard work it's in many ways more work and it means that you have to understand what everyone else is doing but there's often this misconception a little bit born out of school that the most technically competent person must be the group leader so for all the group leaders or people who want to take on the role of coordinator or timekeeper it's an extremely valuable role and don't hesitate to think that okay wait a minute there's a person in my group who's just technically a superstar so that person should be the group leader that person's often not the best group leader um, it's a completely different set of skills that you need so i'm happy to talk more about that you can reach out to Everest Ablai as well or to me um, and especially if any groups are having this is having any challenges you have a big task this week so don't uh use your time well every day is like a week you should i think be having two meetings a day um, even if there are two shorter meetings per day and people should be extremely active. And if you do that, you'll be able to cover up the absence of um, one missing group member and perhaps even two. So I'm going to take two minutes for questions, Q&A, and then we'll go into Emilienne is going to run the hot seat session with uh, Johannes. Uh, Viseha? Yeah, so is there any nice strategy you saw any groups take prior to our batch? One you just mentioned about the communication. I mean, I think the, the essence of project management is really simple. It's the execution that's difficult. So everyone, it should be very clear who is doing what and what when does it have to be done by and exactly what is what is expected. So if it's very clear that this person is writing this and it has to be written by this time in such a format that it can be plugged into ABC and everyone knows exactly what they're doing and there's an opportunity to discuss and sort of integrate with each other, that's, um, that's probably enough. But just to coordinate that for a really fast uh, moving project like this one, it's, I, would, I would actually allocate one person to do only that. Because if that one person has to stay on top of what every single other person is doing, doesn't need to understand the details of the code, but they're at the point where they can say, wait a minute, I know what this person is doing. I know what this person is doing. Right now, they're not going to meet. So look, you two need to talk to each other or somebody needs to make a decision that we're going to prioritize A versus B. That's a full-time job. So we've seen that strategy where one person does no work 
um, no coding, I, I can say, and only coordinates. Adija? Um, you mentioned a few minutes ago that um, uh, you, you talked about reporters on that. So we have a group member that, uh, that was not um, delivering his or her task on time. So what's the best way to go about that? Uh, when is the proper way to allocate the task for somebody else? You know, I think that this is where right today, anyone who has this issue should, uh, yeah, I, I would say write to this person. You guys should have a group meeting and it's now 8.40 a.m. UTC to say, look, by 9.30, if we don't hear back from this person, we're going to allocate his or her tasks to somebody else and be open, be transparent and be clear. This is why we're doing it. And this is what this means. If you're able to able to be back online, uh, then there's other work that you can do, but there's just not enough time to wait. And there's really not enough time for um, people promising stuff that they can't deliver. So it is a group project and in the world of work, it's the same thing. Um, if you need to deliver something to uh, whatever, whoever your client is, it's everyone looks bad if uh, the answer is look. So, so and so had, no power or their dog died or they couldn't attend for whatever reason, it's it's really not an excuse. It's the group's job to say, this is how far we can get. So I would say uh, in the next 45 minutes, your schedule to submission should be clear. Thanks. Yeah, and we're happy to help. If there's any adjudication that's necessary, any sort of mediation, do let us know. Margaret? Um, I had a technical question to ask. Okay, that one's not for me. Um, so maybe Nardos is on the call, you can ask Nardos. Okay, um, so I saw Azaria posted um, that the MSK, the Kafka cluster is ready. And I'm confused since yesterday, we, I already set up Kafka on my own, on Jupiter Hub, and I'm I'm confused. What's the difference? Uh, I hope my question is clear. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear. Okay. Well, uh, so we already said that we were gonna create the Kafka clusters for you guys. So, uh, based on that, we've created for every group. I don't know which group you are in, but it's fine. You, it's, you can still access this one. I mean, it would not make any difference. Okay, so it's just like having two different topics and then we use the one you've created. Um, yeah, I mean, you can do that. You can still go with the one you have if it's still there. I'm not sure. It, he might have overridden it or I'm not sure about that, but you can, tr you can work on whichever you, one you like. Okay, thank you. Just to jump in, I think one of the differences here might be that the Kafka cluster that we've set up has a much bigger computer than you have. I think that's that's kind of the point, isn't it, uh, Nardos? Yeah, yeah. Plus, the computing powers have or, have been increased because a lot of people were saying they were running out of space. So yeah, yeah. But, but compared to anyone's personal computer, I think that's why we're using these cloud machines. It's it should be yeah. much more powerful than any individual computer. Yeah. So wait, uh, you meant on AWS, right, Margaret? Um, yes. Yesterday, oh. I already like um, created a topic. It shouldn't be, yeah, but yeah, I don't make sense. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. So if there's anything that's not working, so let's reach out on Slack. So there's questions now coming. Uh, to Gisti and then Natnail and then Johans. Hello. Hi, to Gisti. Hi. Uh, I also have a technical uh, issue. Uh, I regenerate another key yesterday and uh, sent it to Yudida, but still I have uh, a permission to need Issues. Yeah, uh, Tugisti, I think you were very hard to reach, like, right? Yesterday we've been, I think Idida was trying hard to reach you, but yeah, uh, he, you, you can fix it with him. It will be done. If you're free now, if you're available now, then reach out to him. 
Okay, thank you. Okay, we have Nadal and then Neil McKeezan. Uh, okay, uh, uh, I'm from group two and we still are facing the storage issue. Like we couldn't even create a single Python file. Uh, yes, um, so as I and Didia said, they're working on it right now. So they're restarting it. So maybe I'll give it a couple of minutes. If it's not working, I don't know, by an hour, then reach back again. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay. Yeah. So my question is that this to Nardos, uh, are you going to install Airflow Spark for us or we have to install it on our own? Um, I can install it for you guys if you are facing issues on that. Do you need help on that? No, I was just confirming because you did for Kafka clusters. Yeah. <clears throat> we haven't installed those things, but we can if, if that's what you prefer. But you can play around with it. You can learn how to install them. Okay. But if it's any problem, I'd be happy to, to help. If you face any difficulties, we will teach yeah. you. But, okay. Yeah. Cool. Sam? Yeah, uh, thanks. Uh, just real quick, now, just, I think what we need is uh, if. You, if you are if you guys are planning to uh, install these things for us, maybe we can focus our maybe do this locally and all this. She, she is basically saying that because we want it to be efficient enough not to be able to do things twice, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, it, it makes sense. I mean, okay, we, maybe you can, we can talk about it. Uh, I'll install or you, can, you guys could also install. Yeah. I mean, it's your preference. Um, Basically, you guys should install them. You guys, sh you guys should uh, install the tools you need, but we're here if there is any problem, right? So I won't be installing if you if you have already have uh, yeah. created yeah. your own okay. um, you. clusters or anything, if you have already set up your own environment. Thank you. Okay. Yes, you want Okay, thank you. So my question was uh, actually raised by Margaret. So I was uh, assigned to, to do the, uh, the creating the Kafka cluster once uh, the Kafka setup was done and also to create the topic on the Kafka cluster. So if you guys have already set up the Kafka and created the cluster, so are we uh, only supposed to, to create the topic name? Um, I'm not sure, uh, Azari is the one who did that, but yes, I would assume that, that that's the case. But I can check and get back to you on that. I don't think Azari is on the call right now, but I will get back to you on that. Yeah, so my other question is also, so we were already, I mean, Margaret had already set up the Kafka yesterday on the AWS instance. So which one are we supposed to use? Uh, the one you have set up for us or the one we have already set up? Uh, I, I would go with the one we've already said. Just use that one. Thank you. Okay. Uh, do you have any more question? If not, then Emilian, you can, you can take over. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're good. So uh, I think we just, we're out of time. So without further ado, let me stop the recording, then we just go to the hot seat.